With this update, we've added the ability to create named positions in your assembly. Named positions allow you to capture the orientation and location of parts in your assembly and makes it easy to return to that position. This is very useful if you have a design with a range of motion and you want a quick way to get between various assembly positions. It's also useful for defining assembly positions that you'll use for in-context assembly design work. In this example, I have a single cylinder engine assembly, and I want a quick way to get between the piston at the top of the stroke and the piston at the bottom of the stroke. It's easy to reset the mate so that the piston is at the top of the stroke. Then I can click the Named Positions icon in the toolbar, and the Named Positions dialog will appear. To create a new named position, simply type in a name and click the plus icon. Now that we've created this position, we can return to it at any time by again clicking the Named Positions icon in the toolbar and choosing the Named Position from the drop-down menu. We'll create one more Named Position for the bottom of the stroke by using the triad to rotate exactly 180 degrees and again clicking the Name Positions icon in the toolbar, typing in a name, and clicking the plus icon. Now we have a quick way to get between two important positions in my assembly. It's important to point out named positions are not dependent on mates. Mates and limits can be a useful way to get to the various positions of your assembly, but they're not required for named positions. And finally, to delete a named position, simply click the X in the Named Position dialog while the position is active.